What's up guys, you're watching Ty's iPhone help. <laughs> What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you an over the air update on iOS 5. I'm going to be updating my iPhone here from iOS 5 beta 5 to beta 6. I was going to do this video a little while back ago, but uh, the over there updates weren't working all that well. Uh, and then I actually let my firmware expire on the next firmware, so I'm finally getting around to this. Uh, but I thought I'd show you this for you guys who haven't seen this uh, to kind of give you a preview of what's to come. So currently if you're not running a beta version of iOS 5, you actually have to plug your, uh, your device up to iTunes and you have to update it there. With this, you actually update it via Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if this works over 3G. I doubt it would. I would really just depend on the size of the update, I guess. Some they may allow, some they may not. Uh, and this may change a little bit in the future. Not sure yet. Again, this is a beta version. But at the current moment in time, it's making the actual updates a lot faster. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So you basically go into your settings. You go to general. You go to software update. It's checking for updates. Again, I'm on the beta 5, and now it's telling me there is a beta 6 available. And the download for this is only 144 megabytes, uh, which normally firmware's uh, updates are a little bit bigger than that. Uh, so it does cut down a lot because it's doing it directly from the phone, and it just makes the firmware smaller. You don't actually have to download the whole firmware. And basically all you do to do this is hit download and install, uh, and then you're, of course, going to have to agree to it. Uh, and then download over Wi-Fi. Uh, yes, it says if you're leaving the Wi-Fi enabled network while downloading the update, additionally usage fees may apply. So, okay, it will work over 3G, but it looks like obviously it's warning you about your data caps because uh, you don't want to go over those. So there we go. It is now downloading. Uh, now, what I want to know from you guys is how do you think this will affect jailbreaking? If you guys jailbreak, uh, you know that it is very important to have to have your computer plugged up to iTunes uh, to get it into DFU mode and jailbreak it and do all that. Uh, I don't think this is actually going to affect jailbreaking because uh, I feel like they're still going to allow you to update it via iTunes. I don't think they're going to go strictly uh, over the air updates uh, once iOS 5 is out. Let me know what you guys think or if you've heard any rumors that they're only going to do over the air. I just highly doubt they would do that because a lot of people may not have access to wireless networks uh, or don't want to do it over 3G because uh, of their data caps. So currently it says I got 13 minutes remaining on the uh, download. Actually, I just jumped to six right there. I got uh, two bars on Wi-Fi because I'm upstairs. I bet if I went downstairs, it'd be a little bit faster. Uh, but we'll come back once this is done downloading, and I'll let you know about how long it was. So at the current moment in time, they're not going to force you to update, or it's not going to automatically update. You have to go in settings uh, and choose to do it yourself. It probably will notify you. I haven't seen that on iOS 5 yet, uh, but I'm sure they will uh, have that in the official release. Uh, but yeah, like I don't think that they're going to make you update. Um, I'm curious to know if they will uh, make the firmware expire or tell you you have to update at some point. Uh, what do you guys think about that? So I'm not sure how well you can see it, but under the uh, downloads and everything, it says iOS 5 beta 6, and it gives a little details uh, about the uh, download. It says this beta version of iOS 5 contains bug fixes and improvements. For more information, visit uh, the link below. Uh, and then the beta version of iOS should only be deployed on devices dedicated for iOS 5 beta software development. So I'm guessing here, uh, once the official release is out, they'll have information on um, some of the stuff that the new update contains. Uh, so maybe you can decide if you want to update or not. Okay, so it's finished up. Now we got this little pop-up that says software update. And it looks like it's verifying and it automatically started updating for me. I didn't hit OK on that. I don't know why it did that, but I guess it was just saying that it's ready to start uh, installing and decided to do it on its own. <laughs> Maybe they'll fix that in the official release, let's hope. Okay, so it's verifying update. Looks like my phone is rebooting now. Got another spinning wheel here at the bottom, and now it looks like it's going to be uh, installing the update. Let's hope this doesn't uh, take too long. Okay, I just finished doing the uh, actual update itself. It's rebooting now, uh, and I should, if it all worked correctly, uh, I should have iOS 5 beta 6 on my iPhone 4. Great, now I got another progress bar popped up uh, saying that I've got a little bit longer to wait. Uh, it looks like this is actually going a little bit faster. That's already moving uh, pretty quickly. And finally, it is completely done. Looks like it's finally uh, actually rebooting now. So I can actually use my phone. And there we go. Slide to unlock. A little laggy there. 
connecting back to my internet and it looks like everything is just how I left it and let's see go in the settings here slow kinda okay it's uh, iPhone not backed up okay blah 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 uh, general about and let's see I've got iOS 5 uh, it doesn't tell me that it's beta 6 but I'm guessing that it did update me so I started the update at 3.42 p.m. and now it is 4.14 p.m. So it's about 32 minutes to update it, uh, which isn't really much different from the computer. I've updated it via iTunes. Uh, it may have even been the same or longer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I just want to post this video for the people that haven't heard of over-the-air updates or seen it in action. If you'd like to see me do any more videos on individual features of iOS 5, leave it in the comments below and let me know. I'd be happy to do that for you guys. If you'd like to see a video on all the features in iOS 5, I did it right there. You can go ahead and click on it. Uh, it doesn't show all the features because that was beta 1 and now we're on beta 6, but not that much has changed since then. If you enjoyed this, make sure you click the like button below the video. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out a lot. And if you'd like to see more videos from me like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button up there above your video. It'll let you know on your YouTube homepage when I post a new video. So that's about it. Let me know what you think of the over-the-air updates on iOS 5, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!